Boko Haram, Journey from Evil, is a one-hour inside look at the terrorist organization, its roots, and the people who are peacefully pushing back against them. It mixes never-before-seen footage captured by Boko Haram and profiles of three absolutely incredible women in northeastern Nigeria. <laughs> I know it was going to be difficult. I was from the northeastern part of Nigeria where the Boko Haram insurgency is. One of my cousins uh, was killed by, in an ambush by Boko Haram. But it was something that I felt we can do. Uh, it was something that we should do. And it was actually something we must do. It was a very dangerous. When we went to interview the farmers in Konduga, we met some young people. They told us that uh, there were Boko Haram militants just about a kilometer away who were on trees, sort of like uh, snipers. Well, it really started more than a year ago uh, when journalists here at VOA were able to obtain this incredible cache of videos from inside Boko Haram, 18 hours of footage that was uh, recorded by Boko Haram's own videographers. There was a much larger story to be told about Boko Haram and the impact that it's had on Nigeria, and also the way in which Nigerians had reacted to what was taking place in this war, which has now lasted some eight years and killed more than 20,000 people and displaced millions more. We had a very long debate when we showed the first series because it was graphic, very violent. I said to myself, let listeners, audience get shocked because this is what's happening for the last seven years in the northern part of Nigeria. It's not only really those who have been killed, who have been kidnapped, even those who live there. The next day they don't know what would happen to their daughter, to their children. That's psychological terror, day to day, is immense. Hello, I'm fine, thank you. It was incredibly exciting to get David Aiello to be the narrator of the documentary. Splitting the North from the oil-rich South. For me personally, as a Nigerian, it breaks my heart to, to see the effects of Boko Haram. When we reached out early on to his agent and I told them about the project, they called back almost the next day. Someday, tranquility. This was something that he really believed in. We spent three hours in the studio on a Saturday to record this. Yet there are Nigerians who've stood up to the terror, who've shown the courage to fight back. My hope for the film is that it brings, it continues to bring awareness um, to this situation in Nigeria, for Nigerians and beyond, because um, as we highlight in the documentary, there is a danger to move on and to go on to the next cause. I want people to feel that, uh, number one, Boko Haram can be defeated. Secondly, that there are good people out there uh, who, despite the odds, are fighting back against this kind of uh, ideology.